Hey guys, it's Diane from DianeHockman.com and I want to talk to you about a, a topic that comes up constantly. Um, people are always asking, um, Diane, what do I do if I need money now? I got into this business opportunity, I started a home business because I really need to make money, I need it now. And um, what do I do? And I'm going to give you some advice now and I think for a lot of you, you're probably not going to like it. But the advice is, if you need money now, go get a part-time job or go get a gig that pays you, like by the hour. Um, don't try to make your home business the thing that gives you money now because you're really, really, really and truly setting yourself up for, for a lot of problems. See, the nature of business is that it's something that you build upon and it grows and there's a steady increase if you want something lasting. And if we're trying to get the business to pay us when it's in its infancy, um, we're going to destroy it. So is it possible to go out and find something hot that's going on right now that you can, you know, make some quick money in? Um, yeah, they're out there. Um, more likely than not, you'll get on something that's really kind of hot, but because you don't have the skill set, you'll end up dumping money. Um, is it possible, you know, do, are there things that explode or go wild and, and so on? Do, do you hear the hype out there? Yeah. Are there truly stories of people who got started and made so much money within 30 days? Yeah, there truly are stories. Um, but that's not lasting. That's not something that's going to pay you in the long run. And that's not something that's going to, um, you know, get you out of your job if that's what you're looking for. So my advice to you is if you really need to get paid now, if you need money now, go find something that's guaranteed money so you can get your debt cleared up, your bills or whatever, your situation. And then when that's cleared up, turn around and lay the foundation for a lasting business. Some of the biggest advice I can give to those people that are just getting involved in, in home business or people who've had one for a little while is don't try to make the business pay. Go slow to go fast, as my mentor Joe Shorter taught me. Because if you go fast, in the end, what happens is you build a house of, you know, it's like the three little pigs. You build a house of straw. It's going to collapse. And then you often end up in a bad situation. Take your business, build it step by step, and build it for five years out. Build it for ten years out. I have to tell you the truth. Ten years ago when I started all of this, um, I was trying to get paid. And I learned how to make some retail cash. And you definitely can do that. We can train you up to do that. But I, I never even imagined what it's turned into today. I, I, I didn't even have it in my mind. I didn't even imagine it. It probably wasn't until about two years in that I started to see that I wanted a legacy, something that would last me. And it probably wasn't until about four years ago um, that I became super passionate about helping people with their own businesses. Um, I have mine. Mine is wonderful. My kids are, uh, you know, 13 and 16 now. They're growing up. They're not babies anymore. Um, it began as wanting to be a stay-at-home mama. I've been a stay-at-home mom all these years, but now my vision and my view is, is, is about leaving a legacy and helping more moms be home and dads be home and people get out of the commute and most of all, um, helping people that have a passion or a talent or something that just that they love, helping them find how to tap into that and helping them figure out how to make that be their livelihood. Because if you can uh, work inside of what you love, it's the most right livelihood that you can possibly have. If you need to get paid, literally go get paid. Go make some money. Um, and if you're somebody who really has big aspirations for a business, it might be worthwhile to go get a part-time job or something, uh, especially in summertime, you can pick up extra work. Do that and bank some money so that you can start with some funding. To believe that we're going to create businesses that pay us thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in residual income um, without putting any investment of time and money is foolish. I mean, that's a sucker bet. So if you need to get paid today, go get paid. And then sit down and look, what do I want? Where am I going? And get some really good, solid training from someone who's been down the road. Not just for a week, not just for a month, or a guy who's been in six months and made a boatload of money. Find mentorship and training from people who have been in this industry for a long time.
Does your sponsor at the program have to be in the business for a long time? No, there's lots of great sponsors out there. But when you're training, go find the experienced folks and really um, 